Something I forgot to mention in the last part is that there seems to be, uh, let's say, a 20-25% consensus that Jeff isn't actually that bad. And because he's a psychopath manipulating bastard, it makes him more interesting. I'd love to know the, the, like, the, the thinking behind that, because I don't get it. What? what? Why? Why would you think that? He, he, he's mental. Like, not even as a friend. He'd be, he'd be crazy. What the? Yeah. I'm not going to speak too much about it. I'll see your responses and then speak about it in the next part. Hey? 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 Good idea? No? Okay. Not like I have anything better to do. I want to see what makes this website so great that it's hooked the two of you. Oh, I, I would not say we are hooked. No, no, we're... We are. I think we kind of are, but it's not like Kurt needs to know that. We just really enjoy Roller. That, that's being hooked. It's like me on StarCraft. That's that. It's hooked. Call it what you want, guys. Doesn't make it any different. Kurt still manages a smile to show he's teasing. He genuinely looks interested in what we have to say. Oh, and trust me, I have a lot to say about Roller. God. Are they going to go to a black screen to say, Four hours later! Nicole, still explaining. I scoot back until I'm leaning against Darren's bed, then curl my fingers toward myself. All right, Madri, get your butt over here. It's time for Roller Crash Course 101. I open my laptop as Kurt crawls over to sit next to me. Darren leans over my other shoulder to stare at the, my screen, though it's only my desktop for now. I thought you said you hated it when other people looked at your screen. It's your lucky day because I'm making a once in a lifetime exception. And it's not that, it's just that she doesn't particularly like you. Kurt grins and shuffles... <laughs> Nicole still doesn't think this is a good idea. Look at that face. Kurt grins and shuffles close enough that I feel her shoulders nearly touching. I don't think I've ever been this close to Kurt before, and I don't actually mind. I do. Fuck me, no. God, no. I glance at Kurt from the side, and he's looking at me, waiting for me to start. Well, facing back forward. Uh, anyway, uh, where should we start, Darren? Why not create a side blog to show Kurt the process? You can always erase it later. Nice plan, okay. Now that I have both of their attention, he's just gonna fucking, if he creates one, he's just gonna fill it full of American football memorabilia, isn't he? That's all he's gonna do. I open up my internet browser and click my roller bookmark to start. Of course, all we know that Tumblr's full of is Sherlock gifts and people who think they're emotional. So, if you were gonna make a blog, you have to pick a URL for it, which means a link. A URL. I don't remember what that's called. I should know. It's probably not the United Rally Lecture. So, it's something, something link. I don't remember. Think of it as a username. Yep, so in this case, we'll pretend that the username you pick is... I quickly type out the first thing that pops into my mind. Madri is a butthead. Oh, the wit on this one is strong. Fuck me. I've got to stop saying fuck. <laughs> right, I'm imposing a ban on that. But yes, the wit in this one is strong. Hey, I don't like that name. I laugh and lean to the side as Kurt tries to swipe with my laptop. Too bad. He's the one making the blog here. But sit down, Madri. Class is in session. Kurt reaches for my laptop again, but I pull it out of his reach. That doesn't stop him from continuing to try, and... I'm laughing as I do my best to avoid him. Let me just say that it's pretty hard to do with how long his arms are. It comes to a point where we're really wrestling with each other. Darren, put the leash back on your dog. I'm going to make you change that URL, just you wait. You can't change it, it's now a link, it's on the internet. Darren watches our back and forth in horror until suddenly he pushes his arms in between us and breaks us apart. No more roughhousing, please. That finally gets Kurt to stop. He grumbles himself and settles down. However, I catch him smirking. I can't stop giggling myself. Thanks, Darren. Where were we? Yo, yeah. Now the server will check if the URL we picked is available. It's not going to be, is it? I stifle another giggle. I'm seriously going to die if someone already has that URL. It would be way too funny. Ah, oh, that's a shame. And nope, it's ours. Haunting it. I doubt many other people would desire such a URL anyway. Darren looks like he's does. And Darren looks like his does his best to fight it, but he starts laughing with me anyway. Now I can't hold it in. We both spend at least a few seconds in a giggling fit. 
And Kurt looks at us unamused. <laughs> so their laughing fit lasted a couple of seconds. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure that that's a laughing fit. I already hate Roller. I'll relax, this isn't serious. No one else will see it unless we reblog stuff. That's for later. Right now we pick a theme or appearance that isn't ugly. You can pick one that's pre-made. Make your own or find ones other people made. Well, find ones other people made. I show my screen to Kurt as I scroll down the different kinds of blog appearances Roller provides as defaults. Damn. How the hell did you make one of those? Well, it's all HTML coding, so if you know the proper codes for whatever you're trying to do, it's rather simple, is what I did for my blog. See, for someone who has no idea how HTML works, this must seem really daunting, but for someone who does know how it works, it's really feckin' easy. I look at the curtain and suddenly shake my head. It's probably built on WordPress anyway. Don't worry, only nerds know how to do that. Kurt snorts, and the sound is so funny that I start laughing all over again. Darren's the one not <laughs> amused, and he frowns, he frowns, poutingly, poutingly, that's a word, really, at the two of us. Oh, God. So crass and so crude. What are you two doing? Something like that. You say that now, but weren't you, you were the one who constantly kept asking me how to curse certain aspects of your blog? All right, he's got me with that. Okay, alright, coding is super useful, blah blah blah, but we don't have time to do that stuff, so let's just steal a pre-made one. We continue from there, and after Kurt eventually picks one that he deems... Rad. It's off to show him how to customise what his blog says and how it looks. It's really fun to show him how to use Roller. Lately, it's just been economics and football with Kurt, so it's nice to show him stuff that I'm interested in. I show him how to follow people, how to reblog their stuff onto your blog, and everything else he needs to know for the roller basics. And that's everything? Kinda. There's messaging and other stuff I forgot, but we already went on over tons. Kurt takes a deep breath and starts to massage his head. I feel like Econ is a lot simpler than everything you showed me. It's because... With Econ, we're going through it slowly, we're taking our time, and with Roller, I imagine Nicole's just pointed at a load of things and gone, Learn it! Learn it! Now do yeah, it takes some getting used to. That it does. Oh wait, Econ. We were only supposed to take a small break. I checked the time on my laptop screen and see that nearly an hour has passed since we stopped studying. Kurt shrugs and Darren offers an apologetic smile. <laughs> That's not an apologetic smile. Yeah, that, sorry, I would have reminded you on the time, but I managed to lose track too. Hey, it's not like we're on some deadline here. We can spare an hour. Yeah, what Madri said. Ah, oh, stop referring to him as Madri. Photon's butthead is probably more wittier. I force myself to close out of my browser and close my laptop. Returning to my textbook feels like a massive chore right now, but eh, it's for the best. Hey, just a sec. I perk up at the tone of Kurt's voice. He sounds like he suddenly forgot something. What? What is it? I wanted to see your blog. Well, now I was definitely not expecting that. Mine? Oh, uh, sure. I make an over-exaggerated groan of exertion as I reach over for my laptop on top of my bag. I then open my browser once again and click on the bookmark for my blog. Here. I pass him my laptop with both hands. Just check out my blog, okay? I didn't need you rooting around my stuff. <laughs> you are one of these people who just has nothing of interest on a blog. What's this wedding pictures from 2009 that you're in? Whoa! Oh, don't look at that picture. I was fat. Or, you know, that kind of thing. Scared I might find all your porn? Yeah. More like you might mess up all my assignments and notes. Plus that folder I have saved exclusively for reaction gifts is just embarrassingly big. I still want to seem like I have some sort of life, thank you. Ha! You have no life. Kurt grows quiet as he scrolls down my blog. As I watch him, I do my best to seem casual, but I'm secretly anxious about what he'll think. I'm like this with everyone. Oh, he'll just say he likes it. He's not that much of a jerk. It's like... How am I supposed to feel if you dislike this really personal thing of mine? Does that mean you don't like me too? I don't know, it's a weird feeling to explain. See, I'd say I get that with people with YouTube, but normally I just tell most people on that, yeah, it's something you wouldn't like, don't worry about it. Plus, if they didn't like this, of course they'd like me. 
So now I've got my YouTube voice, and then I've got my real voice, which is completely different. <laughs> my middle, I've shown this before, but my real voice is somewhat more refined and middle class. And the problem is in YouTube, I can't help going to this voice just as naturally, see? So that's just kind of a weird thing to think. Yeah. <laughs> if you dislike the bloke to that, I mean, you dislike me too. Well, this is pretty girly. It's, sorry, I forgot to give you the disclaimer. It's more girly than anything, but you do have pictures of other things besides clothes and cute things. That's really girly. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Kurt distractively waves me off as he continues. It's like all you do is reblog weird pictures on this thing. Yep. Yep. That's... <laughs> that's... That is Tumblr in a nutshell. I scoff offended. Ah, whatever, you just don't get it because you don't use it. You're done. Hand my laptop back. Wait, what's this? You wrote about tutoring me. Did I? Oh man, I did write about Kurt in my blog. It was our first ever meeting ever. My mind starts to shift through memories as fast as I can. Did I write anything about Kurt specifically? No. Not really, at least if I'm basing this on all I can remember. Probably says he's rather stupid. Oh, mentioning our first ever meeting ever. I'm touched. You <laughs> haven't read it yet. It's obvious Kurt's making fun of me for even mentioning it at all. And here I was even feeling bad because I might have made fun of him on there. He snickers as he holds out my laptop and I swipe out with both of his hands. It's not like I went to... It's not a... It's not like I went into how it's the highlight of my day or whatever. No, but you did make a post about it. And if all you do is reblog pictures and clothes and... Cute shit about our kittens fucking falling off a sofa for the tenth time. Then, yes, it is kind of a highlight of a day. It isn't? Maybe if I'm having a particularly sucky day. Kurt smirks at me. In all seriousness, it was nice, Grey, but it was very you. I really dug it. Dug it. Fuck me. Anyway, we're halfway through chapter ten. I want to get this done. He changes gears so suddenly that I barely register. He even offered me a compliment. And one that wasn't based on my looks. I always get thrown off when he does that. I'm just not used to hearing it. Damn, this scene has taken about half an hour. That's a long scene. And now credit to credit to the writer. Riva Celso or Jack or you know whatever name they go by. I do like hearing it though. As I get started on working through the book problems. I hope that I'll be hearing more of these kind of compliments from now on. There'll be a welcome change from those stupid dirty jokes. Though I bet your blog could use a few nudes now that I think about it. I stand corrected, there is no hope left for Kurt Madry. Like, fuck is that. Right, so, what I've been told to do is stop napping so fucking much, so I'll stop doing that. What we need to do is get our clues up. So it's 7 to 11, yeah. So instead of napping so much, Yes, 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 I know all this. Tip of the day, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So instead of napping so much, we're now going to say, okay, so job for clerk. Woohoo! Money! $100, that's actually quite a lot. Whoop, whoop. Uh, then, observe people in definitely a non stalky way. Yay. Oh, wait, okay. Chandra isn't back when I get back to our room. I'm actually kind of grateful since today got me beat. Nap time. I shrug my shoulder bag onto the floor, kick off my shoes, and fall face first into my mattress. Mm. It's so comfy, I really need this. Who's going to interrupt us? I drift off, hugging my pillow under my chin, and it's like nothing can ruin this for me. It's never that easy, though. I groan as my phone starts buzzing in my pocket. I was so tired that I didn't bother taking it out. Grumbling with my face still in the pillow, I dig my pocket into my phone. There's only one person who's going to call for me this late, and it's Jeff. I'm going to kill them. That's different. I look at the caller ID with squinted eyes. Oh, just kidding, it's my mum. I sigh as I debate if I should answer or not. On one hand, I have a good excuse. I was taking a nap. On the other hand, my mum probably wouldn't care. <laughs> wow, sour. Ah, I answer the call and place the phone to my ear. Hello? I roll over onto the back and look up at the ceiling. Oh, so you actually did remember you had a mum. Thea Merrin's single working mother of two who never lets me forget it. I love her, don't get me wrong, but the woman is a world-class nagger. Or a martyr, as most people would call it. Hi, Mum, how are you? 
My voice is a low and enthusiastic drone. I just got home from the band booster meeting. You would not believe how expensive these new uniforms are going to be. It's just outrageous. Aren't there like fundraisers for that? Not enough, apparently. They want us to sell cookie dough now. Who do they think we are? Mrs. Plains? Why would they think that? Oh, whatever. I hear my mom groan into the telephone receiver as she finishes complaining. How are you? Caleb already misses you, by the way. Don't tell him I told you. Caleb? What kind of name is that? Caleb. Damn. Oh, I sit up and cradle the phone to my face. I was always, I always was close to my little brother, Caleb. So that's not something of Final Fantasy. Thankfully, we didn't have that typical brother-sister relationship where he annoyed the heck out of me. I actually miss him a whole bunch right now. Clearly, you're not your mum. Tell him I miss him too. And I'm doing fine. Classes are different. Like, there's no homework. Pretty weird. I told you that would happen when you entered college, honey. It's going to be much different from here on out. Yeah, yeah, I know, mum. Gosh, I can handle it. Yeah, stop busting my balls, mum. I knew that all along.